So speaking of world, you knew this was coming, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> not really. <laughs> you may not know this, but <clears throat> the people who climb the world's highest mountain, the question is, do they ever rest? Uh, can, oh, Everest. You'll get it. It's Everest. Okay. Mount Everest. All right. Got it. And I don't know about this, Ethan, but when I'm lying on the floor, I feel like the whole world is against me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, I like the. That's nice. I, and, and a woodcutter, his world revolves on its axis. Not quite as funny, man. <laughs> okay. But I bet you're going to love this one. A talkative politician was the world's, the world, that's the word that we're concentrating on. A, a very talkative politician was the world's first pasture side airbag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, I didn't even get the, what are we getting here? Some kind of noise. All right. So a good meteor shower by the way, it could really rock your world. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> it really can. So if you don't know what an apocalypse means, if you don't know what an apocalypse means, it's, it's simply not the end of the world. I'm just telling you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but which books of the Bible describe it? So that's actually our riddle today. If you could tell us which books in the Bible describe the apocalypse. And I'm going to tell you there may be more than one. <laughs> 